In a pivot table, you can filter the row and column fields and just show some of the items. So here we have technician names, and in this report, I only want to show a couple of the names. So I'll click the drop down arrow. There's a list of names with check boxes. I'll uncheck select all and pick Burton and Mishner. So those two names are the only ones showing now. And if I refresh the pivot table, I'll click refresh all here. Or if I right click and refresh, only those two names appear in the pivot table. But if I go to the work order sheet, this is where the data comes from for that pivot table. Here's a record from June 1st and Ling wasn't the technician on that call. It was a new person. So I'll type Smith. Now I'll go back to the pivot table, right click and refresh. And as soon as I do that, that new name shows up in here. I only want to see Burton and Mishner, but because this is a new item, it's automatically been included. If I don't want that to happen, I can change a setting for this pivot field. So I'll right click on Burton, click field settings, and in this dialog box for subtotals and filters, I'm going to remove the check mark here for include new items in manual filter. Using those check boxes from the drop down is a manual filter, and I don't want new items included if I've selected just a few names. After I uncheck and click OK, I'll look at this list, and now Smith has automatically got a check mark. I'm going to uncheck that and click OK. So we're just back to Burton and Mishner. To test this new setting, I'll go back to work orders, and for this Mishner, I'll change that to Jones, go to the pivot table, and refresh, and this time the new name should not appear. So that setting that I changed is preventing any new items from appearing after I've done a manual filter on this field. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.